my name is Kimberly and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be continuing our book review series on divorce books for children. So let's take a look at four books that I have for you today. The first book is called A Boy Called Bat. The second book that I'm going to recommend is a book called Eggs Over Eevee. The third book is The Great Treehouse War. And the fourth and final book is Dear Mr. Henshaw. So let's dig into these books and I can tell you a little bit about the age that these books are recommended for and a slight snippet about the story. I also wanted to let you know that all of these books were available at my local library. So if you'd like to check these books out before you actually buy them, or if you just want to check them out and let your child read them, then they're all available at the public library. I will also put a link to the author's names, the titles, and everything down in the description below so that you can go and search for them on the internet if they are available. The first book is A Boy Called Bat, and this is about a boy called Bat. He's actually on the autism spectrum. Bat's mom is a vet and his parents are divorced. One day she brings home a baby skunk and the story centers around this autistic boy's interaction with the skunk and how he interacts with the rest of his family, including his sister. This book showcases weekend visits with dad and shows an autistic child's perspective on divorce. All right, let's move on to the next book. This book is really interesting and unique because it is full of recipes. The name of the book is called Eggs Over Eevee. Eggs Over Eevee is recommended for children ages eight to 12. In the story, Evie is dealing with her parents' divorce. Each chapter, of the book ends with a recipe. So if you would like to make some recipes with your kids, I do that sometimes with my kids and it's actually something that we recommend in the parent education class that we teach live here in our Memphis office at least oh, four to six times a month. We have a few videos and I'll link them below on some recipes that I've tried with my teenage sons they're not Evie and they're not these exciting recipes, but if you'd like to see us trying those out and get some recommendations for some easy recipes, we have those. Some of the recipes in here are Evie's Monterey Chicken. There's some with blueberry muffins, lemony PTA cake, magical quiche, Angie's beef lasagna, and a fun recipe for Evie's heavenly homemade pizza. The story goes through her dad's new family-to-be and talks about her mom going on a first date. Every chapter in the book starts with a quote from a famous chef, and like I said, the ending of each chapter has a unique recipe. So if you have a child that loves to cook or you want to try doing something new with your child, this could be a great book for you. The next book is by Lisa Graff and it's called The Great Treehouse War. This is an interesting book because it shows how sometimes parents fight over their children. In this book, the main character's name is Winnie and her parents are obsessed with dividing everything exactly equally. And so she spent three days with mom and three days with dad and one day a week she lives in her tree house. Winnie spends every Wednesday in her tree house and when she's in danger of failing the fifth grade, she decides she's not coming down until her parents stop fighting. So this could be an interesting and fun filled book to share with your child. Let's take a look at the next book. The fourth and final book that I'm going to recommend is by Beverly Cleary and it's called Dear Mr. Henshaw. In this book, the main character is sad when he has to move to a new town. His new teacher gives the class an assignment to write to their favorite author. Unexpectedly, the author writes the main character, whose name is Lee, back. This story is told through a series of letters back and forth between Lee, the main character, 
and it reveals his anger at his dad and the struggles that he's facing as the new kid in class. Thank you for watching our latest book review. If you want to catch the first book review, I'll link it in the description below. I also have a book review that's focused on kids with autism. So if you like this video, leave a comment below and tell me if you were able to share one of these books with your child and what they thought about it. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and click on that notification bell so that you can be notified every time we make more book review videos like these.